I'm learning a lot from what is happening so far. And there's a lot more to learn, darling. So we came home because of this. So there's no going back. I just don't know why you should be worried. Our lives, Henry. You don't get to that point. I've told you. The party stepped in already. And they told him that there wouldn't be any rerun. And you think he would take it without a fight? Well, you know. not home yet. You better start swearing to my gun. Damn it! Where are you? Oh, Where are you? Oga driver. Oga driver. Oga driver. Hmm? Did you come back home with your other? Your honesty has saved you. Now, woman, get up, get up, get up, get up. Where is your husband? I swear to God, he's not home yet. Listen to me, woman. The choice is yours. You may decide to go cripple, but we will still find your husband this night and kill him. Do your worst. Hey, Sasha, you are Don't worry. I mean, don't worry. Oh, I cannot understand this. What are they doing? Hello? Yes. Hold on. Sir, it's the police. What time? Yes, CP. Bro. Well, the prime suspect I have is my opponent. Yes, the equipment uh, senator since he failed to regain the ticket to, to, to rerun, he has been racing hell. CP, what other proof do I need? 
when my wife is lying down in the hospital, the hospital bed, sick, shot. What the heck are you answering? What the heck is telling me? Hey, sir, sir. Let me, let me have the phone, please. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kemishido. I'll call you back again. Thank you for understanding. I'm talking to my wife lying in the hospital. He's asking me some stupid questions. Please, calm down, sir. Calm down. Calm down. I can't calm down, man. You see, you need to calm down so that we can focus and think of a better decision to take at the event of this obstacle. Listen, Anderson. There is only one decision I have now. I'm flying my wife abroad. So you get on the phone and call JT back for me so you guys can handle the campaign. I have to fly my wife out of this country. That is my decision. But sir, are you, are you telling me you abandoned your campaign? Campaign? When I'm talking to my wife in the hospital? Are you insane? I'm not, sir. I'm only being rational here. Dexter is over there. You can ask him to stay back while he takes care of Madame over there. Damn! Chief, please. I, I, I'm talking my wife here, Anderson. My wife. Please, just calm down and think very well. What is the result across the police station like? Well, the boys said uh, we are doing relatively well. Uh, and in fact, they, even the opposition says uh, the election has been free and uh, peaceful. Not fair. Well, not until after the results have been uh, announced before I know if it's fair or not. That sounds enough to show that you're nervous. Yeah, I am. So that, believe me, I really am nervous. Hey, we gave it our best shot, right? Yeah. So you don't have to worry. Let the people decide who and what they want. How did our son do? Good. Was his impact good enough? Oh, Dexter, he was awesome. Quite resourceful. In fact, quite essentially resourceful. Oh, that reminds me. I'm still quite obsessed with that. Because in spite of me telling him to stay behind and take care of you, he still came down here. I'm upset with that. My bad. I'll take the responsibility. I am sorry, Senator. Well, that sounds so good. <laughs> Please. Call me that again. Not if I'm not sure that I've been forgiven. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you'll be forgiven. <laughs> Look, Dad Anderson just called. He said the results are in and the returning office is about to make the announcements. Suda, did you hear that? Yes, I did. Hurry to the TV. Hi, Mom. Hi, love. I heard about your exploits. Now, let's see if it paid off. Hurry. All right. Yeah, I'll get back with you. And I'll be waiting with a glass of wine. Ah. So how's it going? Good. Paul. Oh. Yes, hi. Oh, you're here. Stella. And the result to be read next is that of the North Senatorial District. We will now invite the returning officer, Dr. Osai, to take over the state. I'm confident we did. Oh, Stella, confidence is not in that now. Let's see what the results are. The election was contested by five candidates representing five political parties. Namely, one, the Progressive Grand Alliance, two, the National Party, three, the Congress Party, four, the Democratic Alliance, and five, the People's Progressive Movement. 
out of the 444,782 valid votes cast in the election, the Democratic Alliance scored 42,037 votes. The Congress Party pulled a total of 112,092 votes. The Progressive Grand Alliance scored 286,467 votes. The National Party pulled 1,506 votes, while the People's Progressive Movement had 682 votes. <laughs> Yes. Going by these results and by the powers conferred on me. Dad, congratulations. I, Dr. Achikeji Osai, the returning officer for this North Senatorial District election, hereby declare that Engineer Henry Mbamalo of the Progressive Grand Alliance having scored the highest number of votes cast and having satisfied all the requirements of the law is the winner of this election and is hereby returned elected. <laughs> wow! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Was <laughs> well supervised okay. and satisfied so, by me. I doctor. This is the first day of April 2011. Thank you. It took you a long time to return. Wow. Erin, love. I tell you, it's been, you know. Visitations and commiseration and goodwill messages and felicitations. Okay, okay. I got you. Now tell me, how does it feel to be declared a winner? Oh, can't describe it. It feels scintillating, you know, fascinating. It's, I tell you, sir, it's kind of nostalgic, you know. I can't describe it, I tell you. It's wonderful. What's that? Your phone? Oh. Yeah, it's it's hacking. It's hacking, you know. And um, see, those of us that are victorious, we are going to take all the best members of the party for fun today. Wow. I can love you call you back. I call you right back. Wow. It really hurts to miss such fun fair. But that's okay. Go ahead. I'll be fine. Are you sure about that? Positive. Well, well you know what? I think um, I'm going to send Dexter back to you. As soon as possible. No, no, no. I'm fine. Let him stay over there at least to help you settle back in your new office. Hey, come on, sweetheart. I don't need Dexter here. It is you that needs help. Let me send him back to you. You don't have to overemphasize it. Kate and her kids are doing just fine helping me. I'm fine. I'm looking forward to rejoining you guys over there. Hey, we'll be the end of our dreams. I look forward to that too. What's that? Aki again? I do know a call back. Engineer. Yes. Well, if you look around, I got like two good looking hundreds up in there. The one right next to you. You know, so, so make yourself comfortable. You can see they got just about everything you need. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Can go smoke him up or something. I think he needs 
your attention. He just ah, he doesn't look like someone who's learning. No, he ain't no novice, man. He know what time it is. Besides, home is gonna be boring. Shit. Well, uh, I just. Oh, honor, Senator. Oh, you yeah. called? Yes, I did. Um, I would like to introduce you to my homegirl. She is a wonderful woman, a woman of substance. She is the one that ensures that our happiness is always guaranteed. Her network is unprecedented, covers so many states in this country. See somebody you would like to know. Home girl, meet Senator Mbamala, a wonderful person, a man of integrity. Hello, Senator. Hello. Well, now the Senator strikes me like one who's bored. In all honesty, Senator, I have the right antidote for boredom. Lots of people trust me with their lives, and honestly, I do not disappoint them. Well, I see. <laughs> you should have my card and I yours. Better still, never mind. I'll pick up your contact from your friend here. My senator. Yes, ma'am. Are you still comfortable with two girls? You used to stuck up with two or you better tarry with one? No, please make it a double, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'd gladly call you the double master. Yes, of course. I love the fact that you do not bargain on price. Ciao. Please don't stop. I'd like to leave now, please. Well, if you insist, my dear engineer, good night. But you better start enjoying life. You better start enjoying life. Good night.
No. 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 Oh, God. Hello? Who's this? Ah! I didn't know you've been needing my service so fast. Not to worry. I'll fix something nice to you. Myself? Um, no, I'm sorry. I actually rendered the service. I'm not part of the service. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, I will package the appropriate wellness tonic across to you. Single or double, please? I'll be on it. Bye. You are at it again, right? When will you stop what you're doing? When will you... So what you do? Yes, beauty dear, I will be needing your help. Yes, I need you to go somewhere really fast. Where are you? Quite an exciting experience today, honey. Was it? Yeah, it really was. Good or bad? Well, good, good. Really good. Okay, go ahead, let's share it. Well, yeah, I mean. set for you, sir. All right. I'll be with you shortly. Okay. Well, I've just been notified. Who is that? Well, I've just been notified that I have more guests to entertain. At this time of the night? Well, what can I do? Can I turn them back? So they'll go back and say, well, see, we thought it was going to be different. It's the same. <laughs> All right, darling. Go ahead. Send my regards to them. Is this some people I know? Nah, nah. Just some people I met a few weeks ago. Okay. Well, that's fine. Send my regards to them. Tell them you have a loving wife and that she loves you so much. And that I send my regards to them, okay? We'll do that, love. I'll talk to you later. Huh? This is not the Emily I used to. How did you change to this level of vanity? Look at the way you dressed. How did you lose your sense of value, Emily? You were never ever like this. Look at the time you come back at night. And how did you lose your sense of value, Carl? It's obvious. We both changed. The last time I checked, you weren't a drunk. Look. My drinking is a mutual exclusive case, okay? So are my dressing and my late night returns, Carl. I do not know how you laid your hands on my address, but I would beg you, please, do not add pressure to my already stressed life. So what are you going to do? Throw me out? Because I'm telling you the truth? I wish I could, Carl. You are in no position to know what the truth is. No position at all. The only reason I am going to condone you is because I know that part of the reasons I am here today is you. For that reason, I would beg you to please comport yourself properly. I remember I told you to struggle and move on with life, but... Which is exactly what I did. The very day I left your house, that was what you said to me. Struggle with life. Don't go back to your past, no matter how hard life punched you. Which is what I did. 
I faced life, no matter how hard it got to me. And that's why I'm here today. I took to your advice. Isn't that obvious? Sweetheart. Yeah, hello, sweetheart. Where are you? I've been calling you on Skype. Oh, actually, I stepped out for yet another meeting. Another meeting? Where is that? Oh, at the party house. Uh, yes, um, all of us contestants uh, we are gathered here for yet another meeting. Oh, very well then. Let me not distract you. Get on with it and please try to make sure you go home as early as you can to catch yes, some nap, okay? okay? Good night, sweetie. Good night. That's your wife, I guess. Yeah, married man, you know. You have a problem with that? No, not at all, I don't. As a matter of fact, it's even better. Okay? I mean, it keeps no strings attached and makes it purely business. Mm. Don't you think so? Well, shall we do business then? Certainly. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. I strode quite a lot yesterday. Wow, that's good. That's splendid. That means you'll be home soon, you know. Mm, I guess so. So I can too is taking in as much stress as my husband tonight. Mm. He told me they're out again on a meeting at the party house. Girl, oh my. I had to pity him. He's been all over meetings and receiving of visitors all day. And I wonder when on earth he will have time to go and sleep today. Well, my husband is certainly out, but not at any meeting. What do you mean? At the party house, of course, all of them contestants. But that's not true. The only engagement they all have tonight is their after-party election, which has long ended. With, with each of them retiring into their hotel rooms with their mistresses. Bimbo, you can't say that for sure. I'm not just saying it. I know it for sure. Remember, I've been in this thing for three times now, and I'm in a better position to tell you how it works and how every night goes. You know, the consultants for mistress arrangements would have done a very good job by now, giving them enough number of their choices of girls. So. Well, my husband wouldn't condescend to that level of irresponsibility. Well, I think he has already. By lying to you about some phantom meeting. Uh, okay, okay, listen. Hold on. Just a minute. Dylan? Yes, madam. Well, it's um, Augustin at the party venue. Yes, madam. Okay, what about the other contestants? They are all here, madam. Oh, Chief Harry, is he there with you guys? Yes, he just left, but uh, later he drove back a couple of minutes ago. Okay, my dear, thank you. Baby, <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> Let me call you back, please. All right. <laughs> you better concentrate on getting better. My lady! And leave our men to play their pranks. You know, by doing that, life is easier and sweeter. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Do the man something heavy. Yes. Yes, baby. Yes. 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 <laughs> Sorry. 
your wife again? Yeah. I thought you said it doesn't matter to you. I'm oh, sorry. I almost forgot. It's okay. I try. I guess I tried to overstep a bit. That's why I do not Go over here. <laughs> Something. Don't they connive with him to lie to me? Excuse you, Mom. You heard me. Where is he? Um, um, I wouldn't know where he is. Oh, really? Is this how he has started already? Just on the very first day of victory in this goddamn election? Um. Well, Mom, I just think you're getting worked up for nothing. I'm not working myself up, god damn it. Where is he at this time of the night? Uh, probably he's gone for a meeting. He could be in a meeting uh, or, or something. I mean, he just won an election. You don't expect him to sit at home when all his colleagues are, are out there having a meeting or some consultancy of some sort. What meeting would that be that would warrant he does not take my calls and the next thing I know his line is switched off? Well, mother, that's the pressure that comes with these meetings. I mean, I haven't been in one, but I, I pretty much understand. Ah, you know, and that hasn't been around here for a while. He just came back and he's not in tune with the way things are done around here. So I believe he will need a lot of attention and not distractions when he's in these meetings. Is that what your dad told you? That I'm distracting him? Is that what your father said about me, Dexter? No, Mom. Don't lie to me, son. Mother, I have not even seen that this evening. I came, well, I went out with some friends. I came back, I came to bed. You know what, Mom? I think you should just, like... I know you think I should get some sleep. Thank you, but no thanks. Fetch me my husband this night and have me talk to him. Do you hear me? Yeah, Mom. Good. What are you doing now? What is it, sweetheart? Nothing. Just private family issues. Well, it's okay. Don't let it bother you, okay? Yeah, sure. I need to be in the right frame of mind. I will go out for shopping tomorrow. Yeah. I don't want anything to distract you from dreaming the craziest shopping spree tomorrow. Sharon, are you insane or something? No. I'm just excited about tomorrow. That's all. Well, nothing is happening tomorrow, okay? You'll be going back to your base just like every other day. That's what I told you earlier on. You did. But apparently, you were serious. Are you? Dead serious. Dexter! What is even wrong with you? How am I going to explain to all my friends that my, my boyfriends that won an election 
when I have nothing to show for it. Then don't tell them anything, man. It won't be necessary, would it? No, 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 no baby. Excuse me, all right? I have some errands to run for my mom. No, please. Are, are you serious? I need to change my wardrobe. I, I, I need to, baby, please. Dexter. Oh, boy. Dexter. Are you serious? You weren't picking my calls. Sweetheart, it was a caucus meeting for the hierarchy of the party. Okay, I needed to concentrate. That's why I ignore my calls, not just your call. And there's no harm intended because I was going to call you as soon as I finished. Now, the meeting ended at 5 o'clock this morning. Got home and just called you. How come you told me it was holding at the party house while you guys were at some hotel? Honey, will you ask me these questions? It just made me wonder, because I'm just wondering, are you accusing me of what? Because if you are, I will appreciate it if you just come out straight and accuse me. We are at this party house, and someone suggested while the meeting was about to commence that why don't we relocate to an hotel so that when the meeting goes late into the night, we can have accommodation right there. That was a good idea, so we all subscribed to it. Now tell me. Do you expect that I pulled out of this meeting just because we're not talking about going to an hotel? I'm sorry, I should have realized you weren't avoiding my call. So that, I mean, we spoke like what, like twice last night? So what would have warranted me not to want to pick a call? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Just go ahead and get some nap before they call you up again. No, 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 no. It's unnecessary. I, I called you because I want to talk to you. Okay. So how was your day? I'm doing fine. Special after hearing your voice. I'm getting real strong by the day and I hope to join you back soon. No, no, no you just stay there now, okay? Stay. You must remain there until you're fully recovered, okay? I will be fully recovered soon. So that until I've come there myself and confirm that. All right, all right. Hi, D. Hi, Mom. How are you today? Oh, I'm beautiful. By the way, I'm sorry about yesterday. Oh, I, I totally understand. I, I know when love works, it's magic. <laughs> Silly you. <laughs> well, Dad, um, <clears throat> I came to tell you something that uh, I'm ready to move into my own apartment. That's what I'm signing on, don't we? You know the one I told you about earlier on during the week? Really? For real, Dad. Oh, so why don't you stay and keep him busy? Want you to die of loneliness? Mother, I have my own stuff to fix up. Say that. Don't worry. I will be fine. I can hold my fuss until you return. Are you sure, sweetie? So, I'm positive, so that I'm very positive about that, okay? I am. Well, go ahead, son. Well, son, it's fine, okay? But well, just make sure. That is this what you really want? Yes, Dad. This is what I really want. And this is where I really want to be. All right. Um, have fixed the date yet? No, I haven't fixed a date yet. And that's because I have some few deliveries coming in. The last one, actually. And I'm not sure when it will be in. It could be today, tomorrow. I'm not sure. But the minute it comes in, I will be out. Mm. Mm. That's fine. Well, in the meanwhile, um, good luck to you. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. Thanks, Mom. Love you. I love you, Mom. So, <clears throat> so sweetheart. Yeah. That's how. That's how it's been. You know. I'm here, still loving you.
this is it. Yeah, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Barabbas. Yes, yes, over. Alpha. Fine now. Did the plumbers work here yesterday? Yes, I finished everything. Ah, so they said. Oh yeah, now let's see what they did. Oh yeah, okay. This way. You know, you know one thing I learned about the immigration yesterday was the wonderful lecture by Professor Chino Achebe. I will hey, they could hear this man. Mm -hmm. I love that lecture by Chino Achebe. The prof, listen, I agree with him totally. Totally, totally agree with him. Because listen to this, if we all keep getting richer and richer at the expense of the general masses, then we're liable to be in trouble because the general masses can rise against us and then our lives will be in danger. Why should they be against us? Senator Biko, as Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, did they make my money for me? Or am I owing anybody? You're forgetting something. Ah. A hungry man is a hungry man. Mm. If they're hungry, let them look for something to do and make money. As I have struggled, seen something doing, and I have made my money. Through politics, isn't it? It's politics, not a means. The most important thing is that it is a legitimate way of making money. It doesn't matter how we make the money. But if we make money, we should remember the public. Hi, Surat. Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry, Surat. Um, I, I mean, I, yes, yes, in, in another meeting, a very crucial meeting. Oh, thanks for your understanding. Yes, darling. Yes, baby. All right, Surat. Later then, later, yeah. Who was that, Senator? Your wife? Of course. Who else? I'm telling you, man, that woman, her calls always come at the time that you want to think, it's someone tipping her off what I'm doing or my activities. She always come at all times. <laughs> Senator Harry, <laughs> you are the one giving her the chance to do what she's doing. Well, how am I, how am I, giving, her, how am I giving her the chance to do that? Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. She had become so the oh. lady contractor. Oh my, my. Well, you know what? She's not bad looking either, so. Hey, what's the meaning of that? Huh? Hey, I think they're not supposed to be any string attached in this relationship here. Yeah. I know. But come on, I'm a woman for crying out loud. And I don't like it. I don't. Okay. Oh, I hope you're having fun. Yes, we are home, <laughs> I hope my girls are taking very good care of you. They couldn't have felt any better. Ask them, we are experts in handling the young girls. <laughs> I know, Honorable, I do know. Well, since I've scratched your back, yeah. why don't you scratch mine? I'd love to have a rich drink on you all. I'm talking about a crystal. Hi. Oh, yes, home girl. How you doing? <laughs> well, I think. Your choice is our command. Okay. Whatever you want. So, girls, we have to take very good care of the teenagers. Oh, we can feel it. Baby, hmm? you know I'll be going back to school tomorrow. I believe that's your way of telling me. Sorry, baby. Sorry, I hadn't told you earlier. Baby. Huh? I've been needing some little cash. I knew it was coming to that. How much this time around? It's not too much. Just 200k. 200,000? It's not much to you? Mm. Come on, baby. You're a big boy. That amount is just peanuts to you. Father, it's just been inaugurated into the Senate. Yeah, I see. And I believe they also gave him the key to the central bank, didn't they? Look, look, Sharon, on a serious note, what is happening? What is going on between you and I? 
What is it? You and I? We're lovers, of course. And maybe we're dating. Good. You said dating. And not what? Trading. We are not trading, okay? I think it's about time you focus on the individual, love the individual, and forget about the material things. That's trading. All right? Is that too much to ask? So does that mean I should go hungry in school? Just because I'm in love with you? Well, I haven't said that. Neither did I say you shouldn't. For me, I think if it's necessary, you need... Like, I just don't understand why you're so niggardly. All my girlfriends that date men that are not, not worth half of what you're worth. I know what they bring back. They bring back so much money when they go visit their man. Mine is so freaking different. Excuse me. Sharon. Don't call me. Don't call me now. Sharon. Sharon, where are you going? I'm leaving you to your stinginess. Are you out of your mind? No, 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 baby. I'm only out of cash. And it's either you're giving it to me or you back off. Otherwise, why can't you take a long walk? I see. Well, suit yourself. I should what? You said you can suit yourself. better first and then we can start talking about other things and I can't concentrate with this thing happening Bimbo. Harry is not helping me with what he's doing now. Disregard him Mary. Please. Listen, you need to get better first and then you can come home quick and handle the things yourself. I'll tell you something. Phone calls can't do anything about this. Even my presence proves hard for hardened minds like that of my husband. So please, stop walking yourself up. Okay, just, just thank you. Thank you very much. But Harry and I have gone through so much for him to be doing this kind of thing to me. We went through a lot together. Hey, you know something, girl? Men's thinking is between their thighs. And most times, their erections determine the direction of their minds. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. So I'm sorry for being so salacious, my dear. It's alright, lady. Listen, my baby, as long as that bitch continues to arrange mistresses for our men, huh, then we are as good as forgone items, my dear. Oh, may God never forgive that girl. May she never know peace. Anyway, bye for now. Bye, my dear. To like you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like really? Oh, it's it's I just hope that in whatever you're doing, What's wrong? you will always bear in mind how you got to your present position, my sacrifices and my efforts, and how on earth I got to this pathetic place that I currently am. Do not forget all that, Henry. Good night. I need to call my wife. Hey, who is this with this your wife anyway? Why are you so attached to her? I mean, what's so special about her? Are you, are you insane? How dare you? How dare you talk about my wife in this thing? We have his business that is paid for. So he doesn't give you the right to tell me how to run my private life. And don't you ever talk about my wife like that. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Come on, sweetie. Mm -hmm. It's just that I'm beginning to like you, okay? Are you 
upset. Not exactly. I told you to make something out of life. I told you to be safe and not be like Juliet. But here you are. Just like. Just like Juliet. Or do you think you're any better than my late sister? Your sister Juliet is dead. Now that is the difference between she and I. If she likes you being redundant and likes you constituting a nuisance, I will not have you do that in my house. You are just like Juliet. You are dead. Though still breathing. Oh my God. Will you beat that? And what is he still doing here? If this is all about him, to drink your spirit and then pour out his vituperations and frustrations on you, this is unbelievable, Emily. God. He was good to me. He was so good to me. I don't know what happened to him. Bimbo, how is my friend, Senator? Oh, he's good. And she'll be getting ready for the assembly by now. Though he didn't sleep at home. As always. <laughs> you know you boys' routine. <laughs> Honey, you don't sleep at home? What? Well, that will be a private chat. Well, we're just about to leave. I saw that, but I just got back. Can't you give me at least two minutes? Right, right. Anyway, Bimbo, I will see you in a minute. Yeah, it's all right, girl. Go have a feel of him. You know, it's been so long, I can understand. <laughs> you should be jailed for your mouth. <laughs> Shall we not, please? What's wrong? 
was wrong. Nothing. Why are you back? Why am I back? I'm back when I'm fit enough to come back. That wasn't our agreement. Erin, our agreement was that you come back home when you are fully recovered. I am recovered enough to come back. You are recovered enough. Are you working on crutches and then you are still in wheelchair? Look. I'm fine. Relax. Erin. That wasn't our agreement. That wasn't our only agreement that was not kept. So if you are going to be sad because I came back after these months of terrifying experience, then go ahead and be sad. As for me, I'm happy. At least I can see you whenever I want to. Not to have to call, text, or even beep without no response. Or a call back. Well, yes. Sir. He knows he will soon be out. Okay, ma'am. Um, Sir, really, um, about those calls? I'm sorry. Well, this is not time for that. Moreover, you don't have to apologize. At least I'm back now, and I hope it don't have to continue. No, no. Um, I can promise you that it will not continue, okay? Good. Now go and sponsor a bill that any man whose wife goes on a travel should at least welcome her with a, a car. <laughs> You, you. <laughs> well, it's all right. You don't worry, okay? Uh, charity, they say, begins at home. Hmm? I'll surprise you. So, I'll see you later. And I'll be waiting with a nice dinner. What about Caroline? Oh, yeah, Caroline. Um, you know, you can call her back, but I relieved her while you were gone. Well, just on that note, she walked. She decided to leave. And she left. She hasn't called me since, and I haven't bothered to call her either. You know, I couldn't be bothered, man. Yeah, there you go. She's probably the one calling. I'm not even going to answer it because, <laughs> as it is, there is nothing between us anymore. Mother? Yes, yeah, sir. That's my mother's Nigerian line. That means she's back. Are you kidding me? Hello, mom. Wow. What happened? When did you get back? Well, nothing. I mean, I just came back. I thought I told you that earlier today. Mother, that was on the phone. It's not the same thing. I still don't get it. How my mother would just show up just like that. No phone call, no proud notice, oh, no nothing. Oh, my son, quit asking questions. I mean, tell me about your business. How is it starting? Business? Business is fine. Thank you, Carol. You're welcome. Business is fine. Everything is going on well and... Is she not serving? Without your father? Oh, mom, please. We've outgrown that. Please, I'm famished. I'm hungry. Okay, I mean, just call him. Maybe he could be somewhere around the corner. All right, let me call him myself. You heard. Yes, Emily, baby. I got the package. Yes, which just the way I like it. Yes. Get the check, uh, check tomorrow, okay? Alright. Okay, see you then. Alright. 
So how much is my bill? Between five thousand now, sir. Two thousand now, okay. Let me ask so I can sign it. Triple F. I know, right? I really like it. It has this uh, rhyme to it. Flowing fountain foundation. Triple F. <laughs> wow. So what are you looking at? Hmm. I want to start our first production. Um, our equipment, the last batch of it is coming in over the weekend. Once that gets in, um, I want to kickstart the whole thing with this ceremonious, you know, production, which will be the coverage of the inter-economic uh, ministerial summit. Okay, I put in a bid for that, and I know it's going to go through because our presentation was sweet. Yeah. Right now, once that happens, I will meet up with my script guys. They're supposed to be writing up a script. Once they give me a good one, we'll be doing our first production. We will be going all out. I've spoken to Will Smith's manager, and then I've spoken to a lot of our Hollywood stars, so I'll have all of them in the production. Wow, that would be nice. I know, right? That would be super nice. That has taken a little bit of a time. Well, Mom, that, probably that's because um, he's caught up in some deli delicate meeting, I think, yeah. But at least he should have called. Yeah. I agree he should have called, but uh, you know phones and their problems. Blackberry has some battery problem, iPhone maybe the screen or something. Um, so mom, how do you intend to follow up on your med uh, medical checkups around here? Well, I already have it planned out. Dr. Fraser contacted some orthopedists in National Hospital here. So they will be checking me up um, as well as some rounds of physiotherapy. You know, and good enough, the doctor is a family friend of Bimba's. Mm. And, um, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. I'm really happy for you. That's nice. Uh, <clears throat> Mom, I think I really need to go now. I thought you wanted to see your dad. Yeah, I did. But that was because of the whole bidding thing. Even though I know we did a really good presentation, you know, so I can't be too bothered, but... It would just be nice, you know, to have him talk to the coordinating minister to see how she can influence the, the coverage towards our side, that's all. Sam, I mean, come on, don't believe in that. Believe in yourself, your capabilities, and your fitness. Mom, I know. I totally agree. It's just that it is what it is, you know. You've lived in the U.S. for a while, and mentality change and all of that but well that depends on everyone and even those who make the decisions themselves those who create the job themselves if they'll be looking out for such qualities in making the job decisions you know what I mean so why don't you be that different mind that different person with that lacking different mind I would yes I would but not in starting this no business, mother. I need to at least take off, stand up on my feet, and then I will consider your proposal. I mean, it is what it is. Seriously. Okay. Uh, well, I do have to go. Wait. Let's go to the bedroom. Oh, are you not enjoying my company? Of course, baby, let me enjoy your company. You're sweet, but home calls. Hmm? Okay? I see. Um, please, can I stay here for the night? Of course, for the night. Yeah. Suit yourself and 
You don't have any qualms about that. It's my personal suite. Mm, thank you. All right, my This morning. You're welcome. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Oh. You're back. Yes. You're still awake. Yes, I am. Didn't. Uh, good night, Jesse. Good night, sir. Good night, good night. Henry, please. Let's go and eat. Yeah. Look at the time. I won't eat at this time. I'll look at the time. I mean, you should have considered that factor and get back here earlier than now to eat this food. I stressed my not so strong a limb to do that cooking for you. Now you go back and you don't want to eat it. Well, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Okay? You, you, you know that I, mean, I won't eat at this time. You know, with my time and eating habits. I know your eating habits and time. That's why I expected you to tell me that you ate out. Rather than just trying to play pranks on my sincere efforts at making you happy. Sweetie, I did all that cooking by myself. I only had Caroline serve that food. Now you don't want to eat it just because I'm committed at making you happy. Helen, are you now telling me that I must eat this food that you and I both know that will upset my stomach and render me sleepless? No. Just to make you happy? No. I expected you to come back earlier to eat this food. I mean, I earlier announced this to you. Well, in that case, um, I guess I'll eat the food if it will make you happy. You know, honey, you will never make me happy. I mean, only if you could think the same of me. That's okay. Let's go to bed. No, no, are you sure? I can go eat it just to make you happy. Take this check, Carl. Please, use it to redeem yourself. You have to get your life back on track, Carl. Two million naira? It's quite a huge sum. But I'm sorry, this is not what I want from you. Then what do you want from me, Carl? You have immense help to me when I needed help the most. You saw it in your good heart to see me through school. What I want from you? Yes. I want life and redemption, but not monetary values. Then what, Carl? Morals. I want you to give me back life by redeeming yourself. I'm gaining back your life. Yes. Look at you because what you're living now is not life. Just have a look. Take a look at yourself. Flash back to Emily. Because the person I see right now is not Emily. Oh, please. I am begging you, Carl. Don't tell me you, you see, see your dead sister Julie in me because I am not dead. Yes, yes, you're not dead. The person I'm seeing is Lovett. 
the homeless and valueless wanderer who ran into my car that fateful Thursday morning. Emily, Emily, she's brave. Emily's purposeful. Emily's directional. I love it. She's, she's vain. Love it is empty. Emily has a strong moral rectitude and an unquestionable merita aptitude. She took exception to being addressed to as a tat. But love it, you know, she takes pride in being a tat. Or even a tat maker. And that is what I'm seeing right now. Right. Take your check. I don't want your money. I'd rather have Emily. One month. You said one month, and that is what I have been working with. Look, 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 Mr. Ambrose, please, you're getting me angry. Okay, this thing is not funny anymore. I think it's about time I find me a new script, god damn it! He's not delivering tomorrow still. He's not even delivering in a week. He said in a month, and today is the third month. So why don't you try us well, like you rightly said? Besides, I know this guy who could do a good script. Yes. In, in what time frame? Very reasonable time frame, believe me. Okay, and you have seen his works? Does he write good scripts? Thanks that he does wonderful jobs. Okay, uh, what's his name? Ikena, Ikena Imani. Well, you must have come across his name somehow. Yeah, the name sounds familiar. Well, uh, never mind. Give me his number. <laughs> but I'm not sure I have his number right now. But I will call someone to send his contact right away. And I will contact him as soon as possible. Alright, fine. I will leave that for you to take care of, okay? Trust me. Uh, yeah, I trust your judgment. Right now, I need to go for a meeting with the PA to the minister. You know the bidding that we put Yeah, sure. Right, sure, sure. I also have to run the book. I have some files to do in court. So, we live together then? Yeah, sure. This is all. 
aren't you going to give me money for fuel? I mean, do you know how much a cab will have charged to bring her here? Come on, Emily. Why don't you just have that for now? Please. Um, meanwhile, I hope um, she's very much good at it. Don't look at me like that, woman. Answer the question. He's asking if you're good at what you do. Oh, conviction they say. <laughs> Comes with trying. <laughs> oh, that's me, eh? I should take my leave now, sir. All right, then. Okay, then. Hi. Hi. Hi there, sir. Yes, sir. Hi. Uh, good morning, Miss Nelson. Yeah, good morning. You're welcome. Thank you. Right. Yeah. You can ah. see where I've come. Yeah. So, baby, come on. What am I going to do now? How do I get out of here? See if you can take this way. Drive out from here. Really? Try and see how you can drive out of here now? Please, shut your trap, wise man. Try and see how you can get out of here now. Can you please call the other man let me know how to get my car out of here? The man is coming. Just wait until that is coming. I'm seeing you. Now, have you found the person who blocked my car? Madam, they say they don't know the room he went into. Shut up! Aren't you guards here? Aren't you supposed to direct people as to how to park their cars? Stop nodding, aren't you? We're sorry, madam. When he drove inside, the whole parking lot were filled up. Madam, we are sorry. Madam? Um, auntie, we are sorry. Auntie. <clears throat> Mr. Nelson, so what is it going to be? What's uh, my assurance level? Well, um, 100%. Meanwhile, mm. uh, babe, mm. excuse me to the room. Okay. So let's talk about my business. Alright. What do you think? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's my mama. Yeah. <laughs> I see you having fun. <laughs> yeah. So, what's the hint for me? Well, uh, Mr. Nelson, universally, 10% is acceptable. You know, for any cut whatsoever. So, 10% it is. Can't you do something better? Uh, I wish I could, but you see, I really appreciate you having this meeting with me and giving me first hand information and everything, but I'm really doing this not because of the money. I just want to lay my hands on this job, make sure I execute it properly to boost my company's image, you know, make sure my resume is good. That's why I'm doing it. Well, um, Dexter, supposing I meet a bidder who is willing to give something higher, should I stick to him? Okay, Mr. Nelson, you just throw something at me and let me consider it. 20%? I do. 20%? Yeah, then I give you the assurance that the form will be given to you up front. No debt whatsoever. This is highly irresponsible and highly nonsensical. Like seriously? You can't go in there and go room after room and search for the Ninkom poop. The idiot who packed his car this way. Like really? You can't? Madam, we are very sorry. But the people inside will not allow us to do that. We have filed the complaint and I believe that they will be going room by room to go and search for the person who parked the car. It's rubbish. Rubbish. That's what you just said. Rubbish. Okay? My goodness. Do you know how many appointments I have today? I even have a doctor's appointment, god damn it! He's here. Oh, there he is. Sorry. Hi there. I'm sorry. Oh. Hi here. Well, I am so sorry. I came in, I was so much in a hurry. I didn't realize my car has posed such an obstruction. I'm sorry. It wasn't the car, mister. It was you. You drove the car. And when you parked the car at the parking point, you knew very well it was going to cause an obstruction. Common sense should have told you that. Well, like I said, I'm sorry. Seriously? Oh, I'm sorry. That's all you're going to say for all the trouble you made me pass through? You are sorry? Well, madam, I don't know what else I can say. I said I'm sorry. Well, maybe this should do. You're a very pretty lady. Red suits you. You look beautiful. And I don't think such a pretty face like yours should look volatile and angry. Trust me. 
This is my happy face, mister. <laughs> now get out of my way. Sorry, I didn't get your name. That's because I didn't tell you my name. Well, can you tell me your name now? Young man, you think this is fun? I have almost grown a monster waiting for you to come move your crappy car off of my way. And you come here and you... Can you please get your car off my way? Right now. I don't think crappy is the word for this my baby. I don't think so. Like I can! Get out of the way! No, no, no. Henry has no right to do that. Relax. You're not even so sure. My spirit tell it to me. Henry is seeing some other girl. He can't even hide it. You know what Henry and I have been through? How I stood by him when I discovered he was impotent? My goodness. Goodness. Henry, stop it. Listen, you're going to hurt yourself if you go on like this. You need to give this whole thing some sort of an attitude, you know? Can you realize that Henry have not had dinner at home since I got back? Then stop serving him dinner. Listen, those who don't expect much don't get disappointed, you know? If you realize that he stopped taking dinner, then stop serving him dinner. As a matter of fact, stop serving him what he eats. That will get to him. Does he take breakfast? He can't do without breakfast. Uh, then stop serving him breakfast as well. Oh, yes! And listen, hey girl, why don't you go get yourself some young looking guy that can handle your emotional needs? What? Oh, yeah! Are you insane, Bimbo? Oh, that was what I told the person that advised me the first time. Don't worry. With time, you realize that your husband will not stop playing his game and you can do nothing about it. God forbid that we're indulging our adultery. Oh. Doesn't he indulge himself? It's not all about Henry. Oh. It's about my soul that will be going before God to face judgment. Henry will not be there. He will be facing his separately. Anyway, I've got to get going. It's all right. Just take it easy, okay? When is your next appointment with the physio? Yeah, so that... How was the day? Well, mine was splendid, but uh, tedious. Yes, we went, we went on some more oversight uh, inspection. And we barely got back and now we are compiling our reports. Yes, we have to do it tonight. Yes, right. Where are you having? And who was that? Oh, who? Oh, the TV. Don't worry, I, I already switched it off. Okay. Are you coming home tonight? Oh, sure, sure. sure. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm running up now. I'll come home soon. All right, I'll be waiting. You won't wait for too long, Daddy. That's it. stepped out. I want to ask you a question, Robert. Emily, my name is Emily Carl. Emily's lost. We need to find her. What is it with you? Why did you come here? To hound me? Or to judge me? You do not know jack of what I've been through, okay? That your sister with a hundred thousand naira, and hey, that isn't all it takes to get through school. I remember what you told me when you gave me that money. You said, if it isn't enough, see what you can do. Right? Right? Is... is that what I told you? Oh, stop pretending like you don't remember, you... you crafty man. 
Well, yeah, it's, I told you to see what you can do with life to struggle, but... Then that's it. You asked me to see what I can do. I have seen what I can do and I am doing it. Do you have a boyfriend? What? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Wait. That is what this is about? You want to first tongue lash me? make me feel guilty emotionally and then you ask me out because you know I won't have a choice but to accept that is you I'm not asking you out I can never ask you out I'm asking you because I feel you need to know love and have a feel of what love is that is what I think can help you redeem yourself and come on put your life back on track come on Carl tell me what is it about my life Meaning, in one sentence, tell me what's wrong with my life, Carl. Good morning, sir. Yeah. This morning, I asked her not to bother. Why? You've not been eating a lot lately, have you? Are you guys no longer having your oversight visitations? Oh, sorry, they no longer feed you over there. Carol, excuse us. Sorry, my girl. to have this conversation with you on a productive morning like this. No. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. Good morning, Andy. How was your night and that of your family? Splendid, huh? Good. I uh, did to get going, madam. That's fine. completely break away from me. No, he will not. He will come back. Yes, he will. Start salivating, okay? He isn't coming after us. Are we to enticing enough to attract somebody's attention? I know you're yeah. ready already. Ready. Very pretty chick. Very I think I know that lady. You don't know her. I mean, what does he mean? Everybody calls this protection. No, no, wait, seriously, I think I do. Please, no, 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 let me check. Dexter! How? She was 
Obviously, I don't know how you managed to do this. You are only doing this. Emily, you're wrong because he ain't come. I am really trying to remember. Um, nice to meet you. Oh. No, really, I'm sorry. I meant your friend. It's okay. It's okay, no problem. Hi. Hi. Yeah, uh, hello. My name is Rosa. Nice one. I'm Kazim. <laughs> the white car? I parked behind you at the hotel. You were the guy who blocked my way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I knew, I knew you. Very pretty lady. I remember that so well. Well, um, I think we're destined to meet. So what you say? Can we have drinks this evening somewhere? Well, as long as you're paying the bills, I, I wouldn't have any problems. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, I, I can I can I can work that out, no problem. You know. It's good to know that you can be such a nice lady when you're in a lighter mood. Excuse you. It's great to know that you also have a talent to annoy somebody. <laughs> I, I mean come on, I almost missed my doctor's appointment. I'm sorry. Again, I am sorry. What more can I say that I'm sorry? Yeah, let's make the evening work. Okay, sure, I can make that happen. Alright. See you later. Bye. Right Rosa! <laughs> Have a good one. Dele, where are you? Oh, you're here already? Okay, come here, come here. Good. He's here. I'm sure he's got some other photographs. You need to see this deal. She gets paid. She gets paid. That's why she does all this. She brings all the girls. Madam, how are you? Fine. You have it? Yeah. Of all colors and sorts, I tell you, sizes, all shapes. That's all she does. Daily, get out. I don't know. That's all she does. Can I just get a copy of this? Harry, don't do anything stupid. Um, please let me take my time. Don't, I don't, I don't trust you. Let no me way. just take my time, you know, to study her. Know how well? Are you sure you won't do anything silly? I promise. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, please. Please. Alright. Don't do anything stupid. Thank you. I'm sure we can do that. Alright. Mm. Because whatever you do, it won't stop them anyway.
Penny? Hi, honey. You're home so early today. What happened? Where are you coming from? Oh, um, well, yeah, uh, church, yeah, church service. Church? Which church? Our church. Of course, I didn't change church. Hey, we're Catholics. So you went to church dressed like that? In our own parish and you're allowed in? Well, actually, uh, not our own parish. I mean, some other parish allowed this dress code, so I went over there. Well, is that why I don't get dinner at home tonight? Oh. Well, I mean, since your committee are still on the oversight visitations, I thought you guys would have been fed there. Moreover, when I was leaving, I wasn't hungry, so I didn't cook anything. Or oh, are you hungry, darling? Hey, what kind of question is that? You didn't serve me dinner. <laughs> well, let me get Carol to fix something for you. Should I? Erin, are you trying to get me angry? <laughs> well, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll go fix it myself. What do you think? Well, I'm beginning to like him. Whatever. Girl, you know what? You just go with your heart. Okay? His friends seem not to be open for a relationship. Otherwise, I'm a lawyer, ego syndrome is disturbing him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought you guys had quite a fun together. Fun? That can only be said to describe you and the other guy. Namely, two of you were so connected. I actually felt two of you are meant for each other. Yeah. It will fit though. Even if you try and give it a chance this time around. What do you think? We'll see how it goes. 